Hello guys, Joe Lego Vlog back with another video. Now, if you've seen some of my other videos, you've seen that I am going to, or I was going to make a review on this figure. No, I don't have the box and everything like that, but I have the card, I have the stand, I have the accessory that he has and everything like that. I just don't have the box because I genuinely did not want to keep that box because this figure is quite garbage. However, I do want to talk about it. Um, and there are things that I want to go over about this figure. It's not all completely an abomination, but most of it is. So again, I want I gotta talk about it. So, no box segment. This is the Batman, the three Jokers, Batman. So I was really excited to get this because it's, you know, kind of like one of the first classic Batmans. It's not like overly stylized to fit the comic art, which even though I still do love this figure, that's, you know, the, you can tell it's a Dark Knight Returns Batman. This is a 55-year-old Batman. This is just a huge classic Batman, which I thought would be great. I thought they would handle it really good. No, they did not. Not at all. However, we're going to get into the accessories first, and then we'll get into this figure. So here's the car that this figure comes with, and it's not great. It's just the... Actually, okay. It's good. Okay, I like it. I like the picture of the figure. It just... I prefer the art, and, and, and I always prefer the art. Um, unless it's like completely like this one. This is just the art of the, or not the art, but this is also just the figure, which I don't like. I just, I'd rather have the actual art than the figure. Maybe if it's McFarlane's like own style, like they've done before, then all right. I understand. However, I don't know. It's not a bad picture. It's just for a trading card that's supposed to be the figure, or not the figure, but the character. Why have it be the figure? Because you already have the figure. But anyway, that's enough of that. You then get this grappling hook, which is in the middle of spiraling out, which I like. There's no paint or any detail that's crazy, which I really don't care for. I'm fine with, and I don't have anything really bad to say about this. Um, you can obviously get it in his hand there. You just kind of like, there you go. And he's shooting the grappling thing. I'm pretty sure his pointed finger is supposed to be over that, but obviously you can't. That doesn't really make sense. So it just looks incorrect. Anyway, let's get that out of his hand, and let's go on to the actual figure. All right, so first taking a look at the head sculpt here. It's not bad. I don't mind it. But then when it goes to the side, it just looks weird. Like, it just looks weird. Like, the head should not be shaped like this. It doesn't look right. So I don't exactly know how to describe it. It just doesn't look right. But anyway, it's not a bad head, head sculpt. You can see the detail in the mask. I like that and stuff. Uh, moving on to the cape. I don't know what this is. I've never seen a cape droop down both sides and just go with, make a triangle and then completely delete that triangle and then just go like this. That's, you know, I don't know. Uh, it's fine, I guess. Uh, it's a nice cape. I like the texture. Or, yeah, I like the texture. I like the how it folds and everything like that. It's not, like, really heavy. I do like this cape. Um, it's just the design of it is kind of stupid. Uh, then we go to the look of the figure regularly, and they replaced muscles definition for just lines and wrinkles, which, what? I don't, I don't really get it. Like, here, you see, yeah, you see abs, you see he has some tone in there, but it's not, like, really much. It's just kind of outlining of the suit. The legs have no muscle detail at all, and it just looks really weird. It just looks like just floppy legs, which, I mean, that's kind of what this is as well. Um, but also, the legs look too long. They don't look like they belong on this figure. The figure's torso is too small and the legs are too out. And especially if you put the knees like that, his feet go up to his back, which they should match with the butt right there, which they do not. So that is weird. I mean, I do like that they have this, like, roll or how they rolled out the joint there instead of just making it stop. But then they did it down there. So that doesn't really make sense. Um, the leg does not look good. It's also, like, curled in a little bit. And then the foot just doesn't really go along with that as well. And then on mine, poor quality control, that hinge is about to just snap off if I do it anywhere different. So I can't really move the ankle that much, but I can on this one. So the legs look curled in. They look weird. Um, and then here, the only paint you're going to get is the bat symbol and the belt. So this, you know, it's fine. I don't think you can really move that. So there's no point in having that there. But you get it on the lower waist anyway. So you can still twist it there. Um, 
And then that's going more into the articulation, but I don't really have much to say about this anymore. This just looks weird. I don't like it. Um, <laughs> I don't mean to just generally be a negative person about this. I really just don't like this figure. This is bad. This is a bad Batman figure. It's not good. Um, then, you know, let's go into the articulation. You can look that high up because for some reason they connected the neck to the head. I don't know why, uh, but they did. He can look that far down, which is fine. He can move side to side. Uh, that's good. Um, and then with the torso, he can pivot side to side, which is fine. It's kind of floppy. He can bend back a bit, I think. The diaper's just wearing out, and it's kind of cracking there. Um, and then you can twist on the lower waist, which I've shown you before. The butterfly joints and the cuff is too far into the... Uh, too far into the chest and the arm, or not the arm, but like under the armpit, it's just put way too far in there, so it doesn't really work. As you can see with this Dark Knight Returns Batman, they obviously stand out, so you're able to have a move like that, which is good. It helps with rage and stuff. This one obviously doesn't because it doesn't really move, so there's not much of a point of putting it in there if it doesn't do anything. Anyway, we have the bicep swivel, which is fine. We have the double jointed elbows which i don't even know if they're good yeah they're good the, the double gel the double jointed elbows are good uh you have the wrist articulation which is stuff we've seen before um so there's that and normally when you try and put this figures down or this figures arms down it, this kind of happens where it just snaps off pretty easily so what you do is you just kind of push that back in so if that happens to you no worries it happened to me too so you just kick the leg out like this kicks out that far it stretches the diaper makes it loose makes the legs loose you can see that in there even if you have it at a normal kind of vanilla pose uh the double jointed elbows or not elbows but knees like i've shown you before are not proportionally correct and but they work fine so that's cool and then no thigh swivel, right? Do we have thigh swivel? Oh, the smallest bit. We have we have it outwards, not inwards. Uh, but then with the ankle articulation, I'm gonna have to go here. It moves this far down, that far up, and then you have ankle pivot. You have ankle rotation. You have ankle rotation, and you have the toe articulation, which. I guess it's fine. I don't really mind it, I guess. Before I get into the measuring, the reason why I don't like this figure is just because it doesn't look like they tried. Like, I mean, here, the chest is just the same with this. And why does this look glossy and this looks matte? That doesn't look right. I really hope that you guys can see that. Yeah, you can see it looks like a different material, just completely different. And this, yeah, you have ab lines and everything, but where the ribcage should be where it's supposed to show muscle, it doesn't. It just shows wrinkles of the suit that looks like it's supposed to be for that. And then you just have these wrinkles continuing up, more wrinkles, more wrinkles, and then the arms just look soft. It doesn't look right. Under the cape, you have the back there, uh, which more wrinkles, wrinkles, wrinkles in the arms and everything like that. It's just like, uh, why? They they could have done a lot better and not have to done or do that much. Like, just do it correctly. Now the legs don't even look like they belong on this figure. Like, why are the legs so long? If they shorten down the legs and, you know, they probably would have fixed the diaper this thing has by the way yeah his legs can move out this far so you can do splits and everything um but it's just like the legs are floppy too you try and move them they're gonna be floppy it's not good it's literally this figure is nowhere near good um it looks f okay kind of but there's not a lot going for it and the stuff that is going for it should be with all of these figures so it it kind of just weighs in the middle of this is, you know, overall, it just kind of counts itself out. So it doesn't really do much. I, I don't really like it. Uh, let's just get the rest of this review over with so I can be done with this figure. Before I get on to the measuring segment, um, you can't really stand this figure because the ratchets on the ankle don't allow it to be in a normal position. So you kind of have to do it like that. But his feet look like he has some type, like some type of thing where he can't properly stand. Like... What what the heck is that? I, it doesn't really... What? Alright, so measuring this figure, you could see he stands... Uh, well, you actually can't see that, but he stands around seven... Seven and a half inches? Here is Batman next to the Dark Knight Returns Joker and the Justice League Target Exclusive Red and Blue Superman.
And here Batman stands next to the Carrie Kelly Robin here. And I think one of the things that upsets me more about this figure as well is that if you think about it, this looks like the cover art for the Dark Knight Returns Part 2. So it's kind of cool to see, you know, just a little bit um, how it is. And it still just bugs me that it's still really bad. Like, this figure is just not good. But anyway, here he stands next to the Carrie Kelly Robin. Let's get on to the final verdict. I don't really think I have to express my final verdict, at least not more than I already did. But honestly, just don't buy it. Please don't waste your money. Buy another Batman. Buy the Rebirth suit. Or if you really want to have a good Batman, buy the DC Essentials Rebirth suit. It's quite a bit more money, but it's worth it. Just don't get this. Just do not get this. It's not good. Another thing here, you can see the little ratchets of the elbow, and that's just in its standard kind of form. So it, there's no way of really hiding it unless you put it into, like a pose which mind you you can't and this is the only way to hide all of the actual ratchets there so you can't really pose this thing that's why i don't have it posed because just the legs they're just really bad this figure i don't mean to have such a negative video i mean it's of course not all complete horrible but it's like uh, we know like you, they've released better in the past why is it that with their classic batman like even the waist is just so wobbly. Why would the classic Batman, they just fail this hard? It doesn't make much sense to me. But anyway, with that final verdict being the final rating for this figure, it will be a 3 out of 10. This is the lowest I've rated a figure on my channel. Uh, honestly, I think I might go with a 2.8, maybe because... You just get this, and then the same stuff that we get with every figure. There's no other hand. I don't need other hands. Just give me another punching hand. Uh, maybe, yeah, maybe like a, I'd say a three. I'd say a three. This thing is complete trash, and I don't like it. Do not waste your money on this. Go buy another Batman. If you want a Batman that looks classic, just buy something better than this. As long as it's not this. <laughs> so that will be it. And with all that being said, thank you guys for watching. Um, if you've enjoyed somehow with this particular video, I have a lot more reviews that are a lot better. Go see my other reviews. Uh, take, a, take a look at my channel because I have them quite a lot. I got Stomp Oceans, everything like that um, coming on the way soon. I got Dark Knight Returns. There's a whole bunch of DC, Marvel, Star Wars, a mixture of Legos and everything like that. If you're into all this stuff and it sounds interesting to you, then go subscribe and turn on notifications so that we know when I post more videos like this and others. If you want to know updates and everything like that, follow my Instagram because those will be where the updates are at. And that will be it. So thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.